Hey peeps, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always, such a pleasure to join you. Today we're going to deal with a quadratic pattern and with that in mind, let's dive straight in. So they've sent to us the first four terms of a quadratic pattern are 15, 29, 41 and 51. In our first question, they've asked us to write down the value of the fifth term. Now, whenever you get a question like this, I would recommend always starting off by writing out your pattern. So it's 15, 29, 41, and 51, and that goes on pretty much forever. Right, now we find our first difference. So the first difference is going to be 14 between those two. So it's 29, 29 minus 15. Then moving on to 41 minus 29 gives us 12. And then 51 minus 41 gives us 10. Okay, now we need to find our second difference. And because we've been told this is a quadratic pattern, we should expect to find that the second difference is constant. So we've got 14, so we've got 12 minus 14, which is minus 2. And we've got 10 minus 12, which is also minus 2. So that is exactly what we expected to happen. Right, now we need to find the fifth term. So for 2.1.1, Let's find our fifth term. So T5 in this case is going to be equal to, do you agree we need to add the 10, add the minus 2, and that will give us the next term. So that is going to be 51. And we add onto that the 10, subtract the 2, which will give us the first difference of 8, which is what we'd expect it to be. So that's going to be 51 plus 8. So 51 plus 8. 8 is going to give us 59 and that gets us the fifth term. Moving on to 2.1.2, they've asked us to determine an expression for the nth term of the pattern in the form tn equals an squared plus bn plus c. Now what's very useful here is we've got some useful equations that can help us out. So we've got a plus b plus c is the one and that equals our very first term of the quadratic pattern which is 15. Then we have 3a plus b, so we've got 3a plus b, and that equals the first difference, the first term of the first difference, so that gives us 14. And then finally, we've got 2a, which equals the first term, or just the common difference that we left with, which is minus 2. Now, we're going to start over here to solve for a, then we will plug a in to get b, and then we will plug a and b in to get c. Right. So a in this case is going to be minus 1. Let's plug that minus 1 in over here. So that's minus 3 plus b equals 14. So that's going to be minus 3. So it's going to be b is equal to, we carry it across and we're left with 17. So let's plug in our minus 1 plus 17 plus c equals 15. And if we solve for c in this case, we take the minus 1 and then the 16, we take that across. We're left with c is equal to 15 minus 16, which is equal to minus 1. Now you can see we've solved for the a, the b, and the c, and we can so sub that into our equation over here, or, sorry, into the equation over here, and that's going to give us tn, our general term, is going to be minus 1, so we just write a minus n squared plus bn, so that's going to be plus 17n, plus c is going to give us minus 1, and that is the general term for this particular pattern. I'm going to call it there. In the very next video, we will determine the value of the 27th term, but we'll pause it here. Very special thank you to our sponsor for making this video possible. Be sure, be sure to read all about them in the description below. Also, remember to check out our website for more of these epic tutorial videos. If you can't find the answer to your question, send us the question and we'll respond with a personalized video just for you. Until the next time, stay epic.